So today we've got a lot going on. So we have uh, some people tearing down the barn today. Actually not some people, we have a lady that is tearing down the barn today. She's got some of her kids that are helping her, but this woman is tough, a tough, tough woman. And she's done some odds and ends for my family in the past. And she said, I can tear down that barn because of uh, her construction experience in the past as well. And, and so we said, okay, go ahead and go to it. And so she's doing that all by herself. And now I'm headed down to the construction site. And today we're gonna be putting up some walls. So we should have the first floor completely done as far as like the walls go, everything up today. So yesterday my dad and I came down here and we had to move all the material from the top of the hill down here to the house. But we've been having a little bit of a problem with just the, the ground. It's been soft, it's been wet, and so we've been creating a lot of ruts here. And there was a fence right here, but we took out the fence, had to cut down some trees. And so now we've been kind of coming in this way, that way we're avoiding all that sloppy mess, which has really helped us to get in and out. But there's nothing you can really do with it down here. It's This is only our only option in. But it's still really muddy. And as long as we got a four-wheel drive truck or four-wheeler, we can, we can get in here. Morning. Sometimes I don't want to say anything. I just want to listen. We're going to love this place. And I hope many other people love this place too. Since we're going to be Airbnb-ing it out. If I even said that right. Airbnb-ing it. Airbnb-ing it out. <laughs> we're going to be doing that. Walking down here through the area where people are going to park up here. And just coming down. I was visualizing the house being completed. And what, what I would expect like if I was a first time guest and I want to be like wowed. I want to have that awe factor. If I'm going to be paying, you know, good money to stay here on a weekend or whatever, like I want to be so impressed with this place and the presentation location outside is just as important as what is on the inside. And I think we've hit a home run with this piece of property. It is so rare to have running water like this on a piece of property. And so we just feel totally blessed that we have this, that we was able to buy this from my parents and to be able to build this tiny house on it. And it's just in a perfect location.
we're marking out our entry door right in the center of the outside front wall. Okay, there you go. Okay. Now, well, so I like the size of those windows, the 3060. We in right there. If we go all the way to the corner, what are we going to do over there? Put a twin all the way at the corner. Well, so then we have a twin on both corners, and that would what leave a that leaves right there, be right about, about there. a foot and a half from the door, something like that. On both sides. But the only thing is, so your cabinet's going around here. Yeah, I know. That was the other thing. I didn't know. And you don't want that going all the way down. Right. I not mean, like that. Which thank you one class there, but ain't good. Um. Either we just put one window right there. Okay, so what, what I decided to do, I didn't talk to Lane, so hopefully she'll approve, but I think she will. So we've got a, a three by six window there. Talk to the boss. Yeah, talk to the boss. And so we like having the window right in the corner, so we wanted to match that. So it's just like a, a little bit of a continual outside view through here. And so window, window, so it'll be a three by six there, another three by six here. And then the door, and then we're gonna do a three by six here. And then because the countertops for the kitchen are gonna go all the way up to this wall, we're just gonna have to make a shorter window, like a, a three by three or something like that here. And so three by six, door, three by six, three by six, all the way to that corner. I think it'll look nice that way. It's not gonna be completely uniform looking at it from the outside because of the short window here, but I don't, I don't think it's gonna matter. And so this back area is going to be our bathroom. The clawfoot tub is going to go right here up against the window. So you'll have a, a view looking out while you're in the clawfoot tub. This area is going to be the bedroom. So we got a window here. Right back here is the second spring that goes down through here. We're going to clean all that up. And I'm going to, I'm going to dam it up down here. And we'll have like a little, a little pool, of, uh, pool of water back there that, that'll be nice to be able to see from, from inside the bedroom. And then up in this area is where the living room is going to be. Well, it's starting to take shape. We got a lot done today, I feel like. We got all of the lower level, like the interior walls done, the outside walls are done. We still have the addition, the add-on, like where my mechanic room is gonna be, we gotta do that. We're all leaving a little bit early. We're gonna go up to the red barn that we're tearing down that the lady's doing, and we're gonna look at the floor joists that are in that because we're gonna be using that in the cabin, which we're gonna need tomorrow. So we gotta go up there and pick out what floor joists we want out of this really old barn that's uh, made of oak. So let's go up there and check that out. There's gonna be some that's no good. Yeah. So they are nailed into the side. Yeah, that's, that's what I was worried about. Right there's a whole bunch of wasp nests. Seven. Eight.
I'm going to take the up and over. Back down the road. What am I going to do? 